Oh, Greg, mm. with the roach. <laughs> that was so dead center. <laughs> Let's go, old Greg. Wow, what an intro ace. Welcome to the vlog. Course designer. Course owner here at the BDR. What an intro. Thank you. Good job. Oh, Greg, what do you got? <laughs> Let's go. The roach. Roach, baby. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> the crazy old roach. BDR Hall 2 Ace. 2015. For the intro. <laughs> Woo! All right, today we're going to get an ace. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care who does it. But we're going to do it. Take one. Nova? Nova ace. I've never seen you ace with this disc. Yeah. There you go. Oh, hit that top. Right over the top. Okay. You hit the top. Yeah, hit the top. Are we promising an ace this video? Yep. All right. The promise has been made. No more excuses. Oh, uh, okay. Almost good. <laughs> That's mega force. D line FD. Pretty straight. Wow. I was expecting that to flip a bit. Yeah, me too. To. I definitely was. He loves putting with that MD. There's a reason. Tell the camera how you did that. You know, you just grab your D line <laughs> MD and just spin it in. Oh, yeah. That's how easy it is, guys. We're back at the BDR up in New Hampshire. Just playing around. You know, we're having fun. This course lays out nicely for an epic slow-mo montage and some highlight putts and maybe some little ace runs. We'll yeah. see. This little turnover putt with my fresh EP1s. Textbook and now the adjustment. And now, proof that you're actually good. Or proof that you're unlucky. Dang it. That's like as good as you can throw the backhand. Tricky little putt. Ooh. No problem, All easy right. make. All right, let me know if you've ever seen a putt this straight. That was so straight though. The Mega Force. This Soft one, Squad. This one's for my fins. Oh yeah. Handheld shot, a bit shaky. Decent. Good line. That's about good. Not bad. Dead center. All right, Casey and I are going to show you a little form comparison here. I've seen a lot of requests of uh, me breaking down Casey's form, and I think this is going to be interesting to watch. My form versus Casey's form. See the differences and why both kind of work. Maybe try and give Casey a pointer on how to extend his distance those extra 50 feet. Yeah, and then I can throw further than you. Exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with a quick form comparison analysis between Casey White and myself first thing i got to point out is that there's a slight optical illusion i think in this shot i don't know if my brain is just seeing it that way but the longer i've looked at this is that these two t-pads don't look parallel whatsoever like casey's looks like it's going straight forward here and mine looks like it's shooting way out more to the left than casey's but i lined it up and they are actually perfectly parallel so it's just an optical illusion. Maybe someone in the comments can explain what's going on with those two T-pads. I think it's just perspective, but obviously the camera was in the same spot filming the same shot. And we tried to line up these shots as closely as we possibly could. So let's look at the shot ones. It's just no slow-mo, just easy. Perfect. And you can see the timing on the release. If I line it up straight to the frame, we release the disc at the exact same split second so we can compare these shots as closely as possible we weren't throwing 100 percent power drives we were throwing mid-ranges at about 
85 to 90 percent power giving it a good move and uh let's compare our two forms casey can throw i mean we've all seen casey throw of course he throws like a consistent 450 i'd say um he could touch the 500 on a good shot i'd say i throw consistently 550 i can touch 600 on good shots so why can i throw this extra 100 feet what is the differences first frame we have is this one right here the step the x step comparing our two forms is generally casey is leaning over a shot way way more than i am i don't know i'm not sure if it's just because of the angle he was throwing i think we're trying to throw it both pretty straight yeah he might be throwing on a slightly more hyzer than me so maybe that's why he's leaning more but if you look at casey's disc in general the amount it moves before he reaches back from out here to in here and back out compared to my disc that like barely moves from its spot the whole time it's, it's more like my body's moving around the disc i've discussed this in earlier videos as well check out my form critique and distance tips video that has been very popular and uh yeah so casey a bit more wild with it bringing his disc super close to his body um footwork and timing is pretty similar actually if you look at our last step out if you look at our foot placement it's very very similar like we almost plant exactly the same width apart and plant in front of our bodies not straight in a line very good footwork great hip engagements and pretty much just using the the strong muscles of our body to throw make it easy to throw far so there's four main differences that i've noticed watching this a couple times and the first thing i want to point out is our left arm not a huge deal i think but i think worth mentioning at least is right here my left arm comes slightly out right here casey's arm is already tucked and close to his body i'm not saying what this is better and this is worse I'm just noticing the difference and I think I use my left arm to build slight momentum which gives me just a little bit of extra push. I bring it in right here and then tuck it in close. Swing it out, bring it in, tuck it close. Casey's left arm stays close, stays close, stays close, tucks in. Yeah, not bad, just a little difference that I've noticed. All right, so the biggest difference that I noticed was our reach back right here if you see where i reach back out here compared to casey reach back behind his body kind of i think this is the main difference and this right here i would call this a slight over rotation in the reach back hard to explain <laughs> kind of hard to explain but you see if he throws down this gap right here his disc has to come like around his body to go straight so a round movement will of course never be as quick and effective as a straight movement and my reach back right here outside of my body not back here where casey's reaching back all i gotta do is pull it straight bend my elbow bring the disc close to my body and then shoot it straight forward i think this is the main reason um that i can throw further than casey and this will also give me a lot more consistency than this right here this is obviously not bad i've seen what much much worse but and he makes it work i mean casey's 19 very athletic and he can obviously make this work um compensating with other good stuff like timing and footwork but i think if casey would put this disc and reach back a little more outside here closer to where i'm reaching back that would help him with power and accuracy our pull through height of the disc is pretty similar um good use of the elbow here by casey i do pretty much the same thing and now i just want to point out our front plant foot same same but once i release the disc look at my front foot boom forward within two frames shooting forward and if you compare that to casey's foot on the right here stays the same i've never really noticed this in person playing with casey and i don't know if this was just uh for this shot or if he does this every time that he rotates forward way later on his toe so 
he could probably give everyone a better answer on that, but he sticks there, slight rotation forward, but not all the way at all, and then way later. I don't think this has anything to do with power or anything. I just think that my rotation will be a bit less stress on my ankle, my knees, my hips, just all in all a bit less torque on that if I release the power quicker and cleaner. But other than that, the last thing I want to point out is a slight timing thing here. If you compare these two frames, look at our shoulders. My shoulders pointing pretty sideways here to the left and Casey's shoulders are almost forward already, which makes the position of our arm and disc extremely different. Like my release is way more centered to the T-pad where Casey's is almost all the way to the left here. And I'm trying to think about what this means because if I go one frame backwards, our shoulders are still squared up. Like you can see Casey's front of the shirt here you can see my front of the shirt here and then one frame forward and now we are completely different. It's like Casey, Casey's shoulders are much quicker to go forward than mine, which makes his arm be late. And uh, I think that could also be the slight split second of the timing issue where Casey might lose a bit of the power potential where my timing and the use of my shoulder rotation is just a bit more on point. And pretty much those are all the differences that I've noticed. Let's watch it one more time in full speed. Okay, that was it, yeah, right there. So those were the couple differences that I noticed. Mainly, I would say, is our reach back right here, is that I reach back outside of my body, bring the disc in a straight line. The disc never really leaves the line of where I'm trying to throw it. Whereas Casey is a bit more wild with it, bringing it out here, super tucked inside his body, and then kind of bringing the disc around his body to then release it. Okay, I hope that was helpful to anyone. Casey, I know now you know what to work on if you wanna throw 500, 550, and uh, enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Look at that yellow flowers, isn't that nice? Nice. Proof that I'm good? Proof that you're good. See ya. Nope, no good. All right, check out these self-made, homemade baskets. These are like little shelf hangers. Is that what you call them? I don't even know. But you can see, and then this is just all taped right here. That's the irrigation hose. Irrigation hose. And then the top, it's just a round piece of wood surrounded by, this looks like something for a roof or like a wall? Yeah, siding. Siding? Plastic siding. Plastic siding. And then just like black steel pipe on the bowl. Some black steel pipe, nice and heavy chains. Pretty cool self-made baskets. Yep, Casey proof. It's time for a slow-mo montage. Alright guys, after many many requests, I've actually done this before on Instagram, but I guess that video hasn't been seen in a long time. But me explaining how I always do this. I, it's so in my system that I like can't not do it anymore. So here's how you do it. You hold the disc. It doesn't really matter if you do a putter or a drive, it does the same for me at least. And then you hold the disc like this, thumb on the flight plate, all four fingers underneath slightly above half all you need to do now is give the disc a little push up slight push upwards so the disc comes out as you open your hand and comes up to here and then with an open hand you push with your fingers 
under the disc. So the disc starts flipping over your hand. Start here, little push upwards, open your hand, push underneath, disc will come around, and then you just gotta catch it again. So, I'm gonna do this real slow, as slow as I can without putting it in slow-mo, but I'll show you slow-mo as well. One more time. And then if you, of course, advanced would be giving it two where you just keep your hand closed and give it another twirl. And then you could also do three. And if you're really good, you can do four and so on and so forth. So let's see it in slow-mo. That's how you look cooler on the course, or really annoying at some point, but I can't not do it anymore. It's just so part of my system. Nice putt. That was sick. Is this the intro ace? This is the intro ace, okay. featuring schnitzel. Right off the front. MD5, big old flexor. Pretty good. Nice sky guard. <laughs> what? How? That's in, right? Yeah. I'm happy. That was good. <laughs> I'm really happy. Oh, your favorite Lux Link? In. Let's see it. It's my favorite when it goes in. Oh, that is clean. Oh, right off the cage. One of the best feelings in disc golf, grabbing your ace disc out of the basket. Nice. Oh, left side change. Nice shot. Oh. All right, revenge. Oh, that felt so good. And that wraps it up, guys, for today. What a fun vlog. We had a form comparison. We had a slow-mo montage. We had a lesson. We had two aces. We had an ace from the one and only old Greg. Old Greg, of course, New Hampshire legend up here. Yeah, you know and it. And it's summer, so we're happy. Hot day. Really sunny, uh, humid. And we don't have to stress about the weather every day again, but... Okay, that was it. Hope you enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun out here. My elbow is feeling better today than it did last time I played, so that's a positive. Good. And remember to like and subscribe and enjoy the shot of the day. It's going to be a good one. See ya.